Hi, hello, and happy fall. Welcome to my channel, Kate Makes, where I make things, primarily my dream Pinterest wardrobe, come to life. So if you like sewing, if you like DIY, and today especially, if you like their flips, then stick around and see what I'm making today. I am a little bit under the weather today, so apologies for my voice, but this is one of the thrift flips I'm going to be doing today. I found this at Goodwill back in Maryland for under $10. I don't really remember how much it was. It was very inexpensive. And I just really love the material. I really like the colors. I really like little slip dresses. And yeah, I could just use another one to do like some layering. And I think that this is really good for kind of multiple seasons. I feel like I could wear this spring, summer, and fall. Um, fall with some tights or something. But anyway, I think it'll be really cute if it's fitted. Um, so I already cut the straps and I just have them tied around right now because they were crazy short. <laughs> they were really short even on me and I'm like 5'4". So um, I went ahead and cut those. I'm going to be replacing the straps with some ribbon. And then my general plan for this is just to take it in all along the seams that are already here and just make it fitted from about my natural waist up and then leave the skirt kind of flouncy. Um, if that doesn't work, my backup plan is to just make it into a skirt and kind of scrap the top. I'm hoping I don't have to do that because I like it as it is. I just want it to be fitted up here, sit where it should, which is about <laughs> a few inches down. And um, to have, yeah, I'm gonna do some black ribbon straps, I think. Maybe tie, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's my plan for this one. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. My next thrift flip is <laughs> just fabric. So I don't know what exactly gives it the flip nature, but we're gonna turn a tablecloth, AKA a square fabric, <laughs> into a mini skirt. It says it's my Batua. Oh, I wonder if it's a baby brand or something. I have no idea, <laughs> but it's a really nice fabric. I like the way it feels. I think it's gonna flow really nicely and be nice and cool, but it'll still give me enough coverage. Um, and yeah, I think it should be just enough to do a mini skirt and the lining. Uh, so I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do a wrap skirt or just a fitted skirt. Either way, I know I want it to be a mini. So um, I'm gonna look at the patterns that I already own, maybe look online a little bit and decide which one I wanna do, but I definitely want a mini black skirt in my wardrobe. So um, that is what this is going to become. It was between like three and five dollars, I think. Um, might have been <laughs> even cheaper, I'm not sure. It's Goodwill, um, it was very inexpensive, so excited to turn it into a skirt. Okay, before we get started, a couple of quick things. I am in a new space, if you saw my previous videos, this is not where I usually am. I recently moved from Maryland to California, so that is why there's been a big delay in my videos. Um, I kind of just started this channel and then moved across the country, so um, I am back. I am still super passionate, excited about sharing my makes with you, so I hope you'll stick around um, and subscribe and comment and do all the things. Um, I'm really excited to share all my makes with you. There's just been a bit of a bit of a delay because yeah moving is moving is tough <laughs> especially this far so anyway I hope you're having a wonderful fall it's my favorite season I'm very sad to have left all the beautiful trees in Maryland I'm here in the desert currently it's like 80 or 90 degrees I don't have any of the pretty fall foliage but I've got my fall pants my fall <laughs> pumpkins and pumpkin candles and all the things everywhere <laughs> to try and make me feel like I'm at home but I am very happy to be in California. That being said, all my fall clothes are pretty much obsolete. They're way too warm, so the two thrift flips I'm doing today are a dress and a skirt, and those are gonna be being layered with some tights so I can pretend like I'm doing fall layers <laughs> and um, not burning up <laughs> because it is not fall weather here, or at least not the fall weather I'm used to. So I hope it's nice and crisp for you. I hope it's cold. I hope the leaves are changing. Um, and yeah, I wish I was seeing those things also, but it's okay, we're adjusting. So that is what is new with me and let's get started with sewing. Okay, so first up, I'm going to finish cutting the little spaghetti straps off of a little dress that I showed you just a minute ago and very carefully 
I'm not entirely sure how I want to attach the ribbons yet. Um, most responsibly, I should seam rip and basically just replace where those are. I might, um, if I can cut this down enough, I might just put them behind. We will see how I feel. Okay, sit strapless. <laughs> Definitely isn't gonna stay up now, but the straps are off. So up next, I'm going to put this on and pin everything <laughs> so that it is fitted on my body. We'll go from there. <laughs> Basically what I was able to tell from this is that on the sides I think I could pretty safely take in two inches maybe a little bit under just for safety on each side seam to the waist and tapering it in a little bit more on um, the very bottom of my waist and then here I'm going to leave these pins in it's probably like a quarter of an inch you know a little over that um, right under the bust to the waist and I don't think I'm gonna have to touch the back because at least how I have it pinned, I think that will make it good. It's mostly extra space on the sides and front that needs taken out. Um, so yeah, going to go ahead and <laughs> carefully take this off and then make those adjustments. Other big news is that I got a new sewing machine. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> um, this is the Singer C9920. It has lots of fun things on the top that I still don't know how to use. I need to do a little read of the manual still, but my old one broke right before we moved. This was another reason for the delay. <laughs> I had um, one dress that I had cut up that I was thinking I was going to do right before I moved and it has been in pieces until last night I finally finished it <laughs> because yeah. Um, the broken sewing machine will really slow you down, but anyway, that was my first sewing machine. It's the one I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for super cheap. It was a super, super basic singer. It was used, um, and I had fixed it a few times, and yeah, it just did not come back that last time, and I got a quote for how much it would cost to fix it, and it was <laughs> more expensive than buying a new machine. So I ended up getting this one from Joann's. I think I got a good deal on it. I'm not sure if it was lightly used or or what, but a uh, very good price and so excited to have a much more capable machine. I'm still a little bit intimidated by it. <laughs> Need to learn what all of these things do still, but yeah, anyway, new machine, exciting stuff. This sheet is a lifesaver currently. <laughs> I will remember how to do this. It's very new. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, I was trying to do it way too far. This little diagram is not the best. Okay. Okay, spoiler, I'm pretty sure that's already what I did, so we'll see if this works. Maybe magically I missed a little something. That's why I didn't work. <laughs> I did. I I will say that that seems a lot harder than like the more manual way that I used to do it in my other machine. <sighs> Technology. Is it really helpful? I'm not sure. Okay. Wish me luck.
it is a new day. I am going to be working on the skirt thrift flip today. So that is the mystery piece of black fabric that I'm going to be flipping into a black mini skirt. So I did dig through my pattern stash and I didn't find anything that would work for what I had in mind. Um, I have a lot of loose skirts, no mini skirts and nothing fitted. Um, just definitely not what I had envisioned. So I went on to Etsy and I did some searching and I found the Frasia dress pattern. It was only $10.99 and it seemed like a lot of bang for my buck, which is the kind of patterns that I like to buy. I like to find things that I think are going to be very versatile, easy to hack, and um, that just come with a lot on their own. So this one basically comes as either two different top versions and two different skirt options or two different dress options. Um, so you can split them up, you can mix and match. It's kind of a just well-fitted basic pattern that I think I could add a lot of fun things to. Overall, I think it'll be a really good addition to the collection in general. Got that, I'll link that below. It says it's about a medium skill level. Uh, you never know with these things. From what I could see, the skirt looks pretty basic. I'm not sure if maybe the top is more difficult. One of the versions of the top definitely has like some extra things. So I think that the skirt will still be pretty, you know, beginner. Beginner to medium is kind of where my level is, so I think that it should be fine. Uh, I spent a lot of time last night doing the painstaking process of printing it all out and taping it all together and cutting it out. And as you can see, I ran out of clear tape and so I had to use this beautiful blue tape, which also did not help matters. <laughs> but you know what? We made it work. We made it happen. And even though the PDF patterns are a bit of a pain at first. After that first painful process of putting it all together, it's all smooth sailing after that. I like having patterns on that like thicker cardstock. They're always so much easier to work with than what you buy. Happy with that, I decided to go with a size small for this pattern. I am between an extra small and a small and I just thought it'd be safer to go on the, you know, half a size to a size up since I haven't made it before and it's always easier to take things in than it is to add fabric that is not there. So going with the small, we'll see how it goes. I have all the pieces cut out and everything. All of that last night in the darkness also. So it's really just going to be the sewing part that I'll bring you along for. And then of course the final reveal. So let's get to sewing. Okay, so unfortunately my mic decided not to record this little bit, so I'm just gonna give you the gist of what I was saying, which is that I've just pinned the zipper to the two back seams of the skirt. I did try it on quickly to make sure that everything was fitting okay, um, and to see if I needed to take out any more um, width or anything, because that would be the time to do it. Um, but it did fit pretty well. I think I um, took it in just enough as I went on all the other seams. So we're good to go. Uh, wish me luck on this zipper. I think it's going to fit great. <laughs> we will see. As you just saw, this is the finished product for the skirt. I am very happy with the result. It's so comfy, so wearable. I think it will get a ton, a ton of use in my wardrobe. This is one of the first like wardrobe staples that I've sewn. I feel like most of my projects have been dresses or more um, like occasion pieces, not things that I can always wear every day. So 
Glad that I made this staple, inspiring me to do more of that. I definitely recommend this pattern. I'll make sure to link it below. It's beginner friendly, at least for the skirt. I'll let you know when I try the top, how that goes. But it looks fairly straightforward too, so I think it's a good one. I hope you enjoyed coming along on this little journey with me, uh, doing these two thrift flips. Neither of them were crazy or super difficult. They were really just simple things to fix, but now both things that I really love and I'm excited to have my wardrobe, so I hope it inspired you to do the same. Go to your local thrift shop or find something you're not wearing very much anymore, make a couple small tweaks and get lots more use in life out of that item. All trying to be more sustainable here. <laughs> it's always the goal. I hope you have a wonderful day. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos while you're at it very new channel. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I haven't gone for a few weeks, but I am going to be uploading regularly again. So I hope to see you soon and have a great day. Bye!